This week I'm talking about why you should have more self-confidence and how this can help you become more self-aware. Welcome back to Completely Karen. I am Karen. I am your life and money mindset coach. And today I am giving you week four of my self-confidence training that I put up in my private Facebook group. FYI, if you want to join my private Facebook group so you can get even more of the trainings that I put in there, go ahead and click the link in the description below to join. So I hope that you enjoy this training on self-confidence and leave me a comment below if you have any questions about it, because of course I always answer all of my comments on YouTube. It might take me a little while, but I promise you that I get there eventually. So let's jump into this training on self-confidence. Hi everyone. Okay, so we are here for week four of self-confidence, the training that I have been doing all of May. I've been having a lot of fun. I hope you guys have been having fun too and learning something. Um, and I am grateful for all the feedback that you've been giving me. This has been a really fun month and hopefully I'll be able to do more trainings in the coming months on different topics. So if you have a topic that you're really interested in, please leave it in the comments below and I'll take a look at it and see if I can't come up with some more trainings to do over the next coming months. So what I want to talk about today is, well, last week I talked about self-confidence and I talked about thoughts that you might be having that is leading to a lack of self-confidence. And then I also talked about and gave you some new thoughts that you could try on that should help you get to that place of feeling more self-confident, feeling good about yourself, really liking yourself. And so this week, I kind of want to go over a couple of questions that I've gotten. And I want to kind of walk you through the process of what it looks like when you are replacing an old thought that you don't want to have anymore with a new thought that you do want to start thinking and implementing in your thought process, in your mind, in your mindset. Okay, so the first question is, is there a difference between self-confidence and confidence? And if there is, what is it? So I think this is a really great question. Um, yes, there to me, there is a difference between those two things. Confidence is a belief that you can do something and you kind of gain that belief by having done this thing over and over. In fact, I think that often confidence is overlooked because we look at things that we do all of the time and it's just easy for us. And we just think, yeah, that's just easy. But we don't really look at it and think, well, I'm so confident in doing that because it's just easy. It's something we've done over and over. And so we kind of don't give ourselves credit or don't allow that to be seen as confidence, but it actually is. So let me give you some examples. Um, if I asked you to open up Netflix, find the office and bring it up on your screen, whatever screen you're in front of, you would probably, I'm guessing, feel pretty confident in that. I think most people these days know how to use Netflix, can bring up a show, can search out a show and put it on their phone or their TV or their computer in like 30 seconds, you know, like depending on how fast your internet is really. So you would feel pretty confident in that. You might not look at it as like, yes, I feel confident I can do that. You just kind of know, yeah, I can do that. That's easy, whatever. I can totally do that. Or what if I were to ask you, we had set up a meeting to go to lunch in Salt Lake at City Creek and you would probably feel pretty confident that you could get to Salt Lake, get to City Creek, find the restaurant, even though there are a lot of things that go into doing that because of all your whole life and all the things you've been able to do before, you'd feel pretty confident in accomplishing that, right? So let me kind of explain what self-confidence is. Self-confidence is a belief in your ability to learn, okay? So confidence is that belief that you can do something and self-confidence is the belief in your ability to learn to do something. It's a willingness to feel any emotion, negative or positive, and know that it's not going to make or break you. And truly it's that ability to trust in yourself and have your own back in knowing that if you fail, it's okay because you can just try again. And it's really not gonna mean that you're the worst or you did something wrong, right? You just get up and you try it again. So I wanna give you an example of this that I've been noticing in my life, especially over the last little bit, but really as I look back, this is something that, that I have really been working on to implement in my life. And I have to say, I'm getting pretty good at fixing basic things around my house. 
it hasn't always been this way. I have tried many, many times at, in my adult life to try and fix things and I have failed often. And I used to many years ago, probably as I'm thinking back 15 or so years ago, I would try and fix something and I would fail. And I often made that mean that I was stupid or I couldn't do it. But as I am growing and learning more about myself and really getting into the space of loving myself and really gaining self-confidence in my ability to learn new things, I'm recognizing that if I try and fix something in my house and I learn the process and even if I fail, it's okay. It doesn't mean that I am doing it wrong. It doesn't mean, well, it means that I'm not doing it correctly, but it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with me, right? And I am recognizing that. So. The other day I wanted to rescreen my screen door. It um, had a big giant hole from all the four cats that live here and, and I wanted to put it in a pet door. And my boyfriend is amazing. He can literally fix anything that you put in front of him and he's so willing to do it for me. But me, in my you know journey of self-confidence, I really wanted to learn how to do this myself. So I watched a ton of YouTube videos, which I gotta say, you can find anything you want on YouTube, right? How to fix anything. So I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. I figured out what supplies I needed. I found where those were. We went and bought them, came home a few days later. I rescreened it. I could have had him do it. I, if I would have asked him to rescreen it, he would have in a heartbeat because he knows how to do stuff and he's kind and loving. But in my ability to learn and gain that self-confidence in myself, I wanted to do it. And I did it. And yes, I had to restart a couple of times, but in the end, it turned out it looks great. We fixed it and it's all good. I knew that if I failed, it wasn't going to ruin my day because I am confident enough to know that failure doesn't mean anything about me. It just means that I get to try again, right? So that is the difference between self-confidence and confidence and truly, I really think, that self-confidence is what happens before confidence, before it gets easy. So I'm still gonna have lots of opportunities probably to fix things around my house and I'm still going to struggle and I'm still going to have to learn and I'm still going to have to fail probably a lot, but that's okay. I'm willing to do it to get to that place where it's easy, right? And this can be with anything in your life. It doesn't have to be with fixing things around your house. It can truly be with anything. Okay. I hope that makes sense. If you have questions, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them. Okay, so next question is, how do I replace an old thought if my brain always wants to go back to that thought, right? We're trying to get a new one. We're trying to start thinking, I've got this. I can do hard things, all of those thoughts. And yet our brain always wants to go back to that old thought of you can't do this, you're not good enough, whatever the thought is, right? This is what our brains do. Okay, this is a really great question. I really just kind of want to walk you. I really want to walk you. I think I said wanna like five times in that sentence. I don't know, we're live, I can't remember. Okay, so I really just want to walk you through this process of replacing old thoughts with new ones. So here's the thing. Sometimes when we recognize that we're trying on a new thought, like say we want to replace it with the thought, um, say we want to replace it with my brain just like had a moment there. Say we want to replace it with the thought of I can do hard things. And we keep trying to use that thought over and over, but it's just not sticking. Sometimes we have to take a step back and just really recognize that we're not quite ready for a new thought. We have to be able to recognize the thoughts that are holding us back from being self-confident, that are making us feel disappointed or that are making us feel like we can't do anything or that we're not enough, right? We have to recognize first what those thoughts are and so it's being aware. So at the beginning, when you first are wanting to make a change, you first have to be aware of the thoughts that you're having that are causing that feeling of lack of self-confidence. So become a watcher of yourself and just start noticing when you're feeling down or when you're feeling like you can't do it or when you're feeling um, like you wanna beat yourself up, start noticing the thoughts that are coming up that are causing you to feel that way. And instead of continuing to beat yourself up, just get curious and start asking like, I wonder why you're thinking that. I wonder why my brain likes to go to that place. I wonder why my brain wants to 
go into this rut and go into this comfortable feeling of beating myself up and just start questioning. Okay. That's the first step. And once you get into that groove of noticing when those thoughts come up, noticing that you want to stop them, noticing that's when you get to the place where you're ready to implement a new thought. Okay. So this is what happens when you're going to implement a new thought. Your brain continually is going to want to go back to the other one. But when you're ready, you have the new thought, you can catch yourself and you can say, nope, brain, remember, I used to think that, but this is what I think instead. And it's a process and it's a reminding yourself, a redirection of your brain. It's going back to it and back to it and back to it, to the new thought, because this is what our brains like to do. Our brains like to conserve energy. They like comfort. They like autopilot because it's easy. That is one of the one of the things that our brain is meant for is to conserve energy. And so if they can, if they, I'm talking about our brain, if our brains can do something that they have done over and over and over before, that's easy. That's definitely conserving energy. And so putting in a new thought that takes a little bit of work and takes conscious you know, intention and thinking, your brain's going to be like, mm, I don't know about this. I don't like this very much. So it's going to feel hard at first, but I promise you, the more you do it, the easier it gets. And then you're going to be able to replace that new thought with the old one. And your brain is going to find it easy to go to the new thought instead. Try this out. I want to hear how it works for you guys. Let me know if you have questions. Thank you so much for watching these last few weeks. It's been super fun. I've had so much fun teaching about self-confidence. It's something that's really imprinted in me right now. And I am loving the person that I'm becoming. So I just want you to know that before I found my coach and before I came a coach, I did all of this self-discovery stuff all alone. I did it all by myself and it was a long process. You don't have to have it be that way. I am here to help guide you. I am here to be with you every step of the way. You don't have to do this process alone like I have been doing for the longest time until I found my coach. I am here to coach you. I am here to coach you through the process of self-discovery, of self-confidence, of money mindset, of really stepping into that person that you know you are deep down, right? Stepping into that person that you want to become. I can help guide you. You can set up a free consultation call with me. It's 20 minutes. We'll talk about who you want to be, the steps you want to take, goals you want to set, all of these different things. And you will get off that call with some clarity and some steps to take to help you get there. You can go to karennelsoncoaching.com and set up your free discovery call right now. Or you can just message me and we'll set up a time. We'll figure it out. Thank you so much for watching. I truly believe that when you are self-confident, it allows you to be self-aware. It allows you to question your beliefs. It allows you to really take a look at who do I wanna to be to myself and to the world around me. I know that we're going through some really volatile times right now in society. And I think that when we can look at a situation coming from love, that it's going to, that is the way that we're going to change the world is through love and acceptance and you know, um, equity among people, right? And so I feel like that has to start with ourselves. It has to start with us first, because when we can be self-confident and love ourselves unconditionally, that allows us to look outside of us and love unconditionally as well and find compassion and find the love and give love to other people in a way that we never can do if we don't accept ourselves, right? Self-confidence allows us to recognize that we all are valuable, we all are worthy, and no one person is better than another. It truly is the first step to changing ourselves, our communities, and the world. So if you want more help and guidance with this, you can go to my website at karennelsoncoaching.com and you can set up your free discovery call with me. We'll do it through Zoom. I'll talk you through it 
And I promise you that you are going to leave that call feeling more aware of who you are and being able to step into the person that you truly know that you are deep down inside, right? So go to karennelsoncoaching.com. You can schedule your free discovery call with me. You guys are amazing. I'll be back next week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time on Completely Karen. Bye.